What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, JB. And today, I'm going to teach you how to start a clothing line with little to no money. I get asked a lot that people aren't interested in starting a clothing line. They don't know where to start, or they say they don't have that much money. How did I get started? So today, I'm going to walk you through it and show you how I did it. All right, first thing first, can you please like and subscribe? And if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll answer them. All right, anything that I might don't go over in this video or any questions that you have in particular, just ask me down below and I'll answer them as best as I can. First thing first you wanna do is come up with a name. All right, make sure it's not taken. So what you can do to make sure it's not taken is you can type it in Google, make sure ain't no URL pop up or anything like that. Because the worst thing you wanna do is promote your brand, put your, put your name on a shirt or whatever, and then find out that you can't use the name because somebody already else has it. All right, so first thing first, come up with a name. Another thing you wanna do with your name is make sure that you can use them on social media, all right? So check your Twitter, check your Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, everything. Make sure your name is not taken because again, <clears throat> Say above average clothing, for example. Say I got, say I come up with my clothing line name, above average clothing, and then I promote it for four, four or five months, and then I want to make an Instagram so people can find me. Right? And then I go to Instagram and I type in above average clothing, and somebody already got it. Right? So now I'm really promoting their brand because they already have the name. So make sure it's a catchy name, and make sure it's available on the social media sites this is ultimately what you want to do you want to have your social media sites separate from your personal account all right so make sure the name is catchy make sure it's unique make sure no one has it anywhere right say you're in new york and somebody got it in atlanta you do not want to use it because you want to think outside the box you want to think you know state to state country to country so make sure it's unique no one has it <clears throat> and it's available on all your social media platforms because say i'm walking down the street and my shirt says above average or i'm making a video and you see it and you say okay i want to see where this shirt is at let me go on google and type in above average above average clothing above average clothes or whatever i'm a pop-up you know you don't want to somebody to see your shirt and say, oh, blue diamond. And then they type on Google, blue diamond shirts, and then somebody in Atlanta pop up and you live in New York, all right? So that's first thing first, name social medias. Okay, so after you do your social medias and your name, then you can start designing, all right? Because you can't do, you really can't do nothing without a name. You know, you can't do nothing without a name. So start designing. Now what I want to do is, since you have little to no money, you only have to come up with like one or two designs to get started. Like when I first started in high school, I did one design at a time. So what I did was, say I would draw up three designs or I'm gonna give you a website too where if you don't really know how to draw that much, you can go to a website and design it from there, right? So what I did was, come up with like three designs that I like and then put them in like a collage or whatever. And then I would text, you know, my contacts or I'll put it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. And I will say like, which ones do y'all like the best? Okay, so if I got three designs and everybody like the third one, the best, then I will release the third one. You know, if everybody commenting on the third one, I'm not gonna release the first one because I have little to no money, I need to sell it. You know, you don't wanna be sitting on <clears throat> that inventory, especially when, you know, you're going from shirt to shirt to shirt. So if your first shirt design costs you uh, $60 for 10 shirts, what's that, that's $6 a shirt, you sell it for 20, you wanna take that profit and then bring out your next design, all right? So first thing first, design like one, one to three, Starting out, one and three starting out, make a collage 
and then ask your friends or your Twitter or whatever, which one do you want or which one do you like the best so you know which one to release. All right, that's very important because you don't want to sit on inventory. Like if you got $60 <clears throat> and you want to get started, you want to make sure it's so, all right? So next thing. Now, very important. Now, remember, if you have any questions, comment below, I'll respond, all right? Because starting out with a clothing line, you do not need $500, $600, $700, $800, okay? I started in high school, maybe like 11, like I started like 10th grade. I got started taking it serious, like 11th, 11th grade, 12th grade, you know, it was pretty much on and popping. So like you don't need a whole lot of money. Like I literally in high school started with probably about $80, all right? Like $80, that's all I started with, $80. And then you take that, like I said, order your first shirt or whatever, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you two websites that you can use to start ordering your shirts. Two of them that I started with, you know, before you buy your machinery and all that stuff like that, you can order them from a company um, and then just go from there. So you can order from a company, save your profit, you know, invest into it again, save your profit, invest into it again. Then you can, you know, buy your machinery um, and then you can just do it from your house, like how I do it now from your house, your office, whatever. You know, it's only, you don't even really need three machines, the computer, the printer, and then the heat press. I'll make a whole nother video um, separate on that. And don't forget, please like and subscribe. Okay, so this is rushordertees.com. This is actually one of my favorite ones that I used in high school. Um, but you can see where it say, custom designs, call us. Um, this is just a little bit of the front page. And then you have different shirts, men's, women's, kids, all different type of um, shirts and designs that you can use from there. So you can click start designing and then it will bring up where you can um, pick your colors or you know, short sleeve, long sleeve, anything like that. And that's women's, men's. They have the hoodies, crew necks, zip ups. You know, anything you pretty much need, you know, starting out. So this is pretty much how you do it. You click it um, and then you can figure out what material you need like what material you want to use as far as the hoodies go or the sweatshirts, cotton, polyester, <laughs> or anything. So this is pretty much just a regular gilding hoodie. And then they have the slots where you can see the back, the front, the sleeve. And you can design the front of the hoodie, the back of the hoodie, or the sleeve of the hoodie also on here. Red... Sports gray, and then the prices range by the color too. So white and black is obviously the cheapest ones. Once you get to like the red and the grays and stuff like that, the price vary really based on quantity and color. Um, so I'm just going to type in above average. So that's way, this way you can type in anything you want. You know, you can have it any font you want or anything like you can say I'm blessed above average you can say please subscribe <laughs> hello um you know really anything and then you also can add clip art from your phone or your computer like this right now I'm I'm designing this one from my phone but it's a little easier on a computer um, cause you might have your designs and artwork or whatever saved on your computer, but you can do it from your computer or your phone. This is a previews on the phone too. Um, so if you have it saved on your phone, you can upload it and then add it. You know, you can put designs on the front or the back. 
and then a quantity. Like I said, starting out, I normally only used to order like 10. You know, I used to order 10, sell it, and then come up with a new design, sell 10. So it really depends on how much, you know, you're starting out with and then like how big your fan base is starting out, you know. But me, I always did like eight to 10 shirts or hoodies. Okay, yeah, like I said before, that's one of my favorite um, websites I used to use, which was rushwithatees.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description. And then I'm gonna give you one more, which is called uberprints.com. Now they're pretty much the same website. What I normally do is, and what I always do is, and what I should suggest you do is, always compare prices, because everybody's in competition. So what I used to do was like, say I got a quote from Rush Order Tees for like 10 hoodies, $15. Okay, that's 150. And then Uber Prince said, um, you no know, 15, sh 10 shirts for $13, which is 130. And I liked it, you know, rush order tees a little bit better just because I knew the people by I me mean, keep going to them over and over and over and over and over. I had the same person. That's another thing. When you're dealing with rush order tees or Uber prints or whoever you may deal with, try to get the same person over and over, like get their name, try to build a relationship. You know, that can definitely help you with your prices once you build a relationship. You know, after you get to know them, you do 10 orders with them and they know you always <clears throat> order with them, they'll look out for, they'll look out for you. Um, but yeah, so if one did one, 150, I was gonna do 130. You can go back to restaurant and be like, you know, Uber Prince doing it for 130, can you match that price? And then more likely they'll say, yeah, especially if you show them a quote, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, remember please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions outside of what I'm saying now, comment below and I'll walk you through it, all right? So I'm gonna show you Uber Prince. Okay, so this one is Uber shirt, uberprints.com. Okay, uberprints.com. So this one is another good one. I pretty much use these two if one can't do your design this one can you know more likely they both can do what you need them to do but it's always good to have two options so this is the services they do screen printing their pictures is actually a little bit better um but so let's see let's go to design all right so their layout is pretty much the same also too. You can add text, you know, whatever you want. If you want to put a quote on there, or if you just want to get some branded shirts out of just your company name, like mine is above average clothing. So if I wanted to just put, you know, above average on a shirt, just so I can get the name out there, um, you can do that, but you also can add artwork to it you can do it on your computer too this is on the phone so it's pretty much the same um it just really depends on you know which one you think is easier i typically do all my design and stuff on the computer but if i just want to get a quote or something then I'll do it on my phone. All right, so you can change the font. They got hundreds and hundreds of fonts available. All free. So you don't have to worry about that. So screen print is 12 minimum. Um, I didn't know that at first, but so 12 is for screen print. And then digital art is no limit. They have emojis and they have a whole bunch of other clip arts that you can use, that you can go through. I think actually like my first two designs ever was just through the website. Like I just found some stuff that I like on a website and play with it and um, 
cannot worth it like that. So like I said, screen print is 12 each. Uh, that's their minimum for Uber prints. You can also check Rush with a T to see what their minimum is. And um, digital print is no minimum. So if you want to get just a quick eight real fast or a quick five, or whatever you're really working with, you can, you know, do that. All right, you can change the color of the design. You can also change the shirt. You have all different types of shirts. V-necks, crew necks, um, baseball tees, tank tops, everything. Long sleeve. They even have, like, hats, book bags, and stuff like that. Both of them pretty much carry the same the same ones as far as hats and hoodies and stuff like that. Now, one may have more options than the other one. That's why I always say it's good to have two options. You know, like one might have this color red and the other one might not. So it's always good to check and play with two websites. You can change the color of the design. Make it bigger, smaller, however you want. And then add your quantity and your size and you get a quote. Okay, so that's both the websites you can use. Last thing I will say is sell before you order. All right, sell before you order. So if you come up with a design, you send it out to your friends and then you order it from the website and it's on the way. Normally it takes um, like a week, maybe like, yeah, like a week, depending on what you get, a week to two weeks. But I believe it's one week, all right? No matter what you get, you should normally have free shipping one week. So once you order it, start selling it immediately. You want to try to get sold out before you even get the shirts. So if I come up with a design Monday and I order it Monday, you want to text all your friends, bro, I get the shirts Friday. You want to meet up Friday, what size you need, do, 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 do. So you can get them gone. You get the shirts Friday, it should be gone Sunday. And then you do it over and over and over, save a little bit and reorder. All right. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, another thing, I'm going to teach you how to make a website in the next video.